question that we asked them was What do you love about this neighborhood? Yeah, so they wrote messages, you know, they draw, drew small pictures and that's how we actually got you know, a very nice sense of it what they really, what really loved about this place. Yeah, so and we made a collage together. And we created a few options in terms of the design so that our residents could choose and we put them out on every lift lobby. It's not about the end product, it's really about the process. How do you, uh, during this process you get to know new friends, new neighbours, come together and do something that you'll be proud of in the community. Yeah, something memorable, something you'll look back on and say, wow, actually we managed to put this together, you know. I, I don't know how we did it, but somehow we just managed to get this through, you know, everything is, is just perfect now. Yeah. ribbon, we teach one another and then through them interaction has been created, bonds have been created, friendship and then they can bring this back to where they are staying and then sprouting forth what we have done here. Very good. I'm very, very pleased. Very, very happy. Strong Mind Fit Body brings neighbours together by providing a platform for them to interact and to engage with each other. What inspired me to start this project is that I want to engender a healthy lifestyle among my neighbours. And with this community space, I feel like all of us can make use of it to become more physically active. I wanted to build a community that can support each other. So when you come down to Firefly Park, you'll meet fellow people that you can talk about, that can accompany you to becoming healthier. Today as a volunteer with the Good Neighbour Project, we're helping out with the Strong Mind Fit Body event here. What we want to do is we want to get the neighbours around here to come together, meet each other, remind them that they're part of a bigger community so that we can help them stay active. Through this program, I get to know a few people, which was good. I really look forward to joining this in the near future. And I wouldn't mind contributing in some ways to even organize it or having this event more frequent. Our project is aiming to encourage the students to read Chinese books and doing a Chinese presentation. Of course, it's an easy way for the family and the children to bond in together, as, a, as well as strengthening the relationship between the neighborhood and making new friends. I want, I, I want to learn Mandarin because I can talk to my friend Mandarin. We hope that in this way, it's a very good opportunity for parents and uh, residents here who are interested in the different uh, small groups to get together and to yeah, get to know each other. What interested me was the Young Fathers group. So maybe we can get together, maybe have a few uh, makan sessions first and uh, have uh, maybe a play dates and things like that and uh, get our families uh, to know each other. we we'll see where it goes from there. I recently gathered all my neighbour's kids together to do painting. They will make their own paint with corn flour and food colouring whereby if they are younger kids and they like to put things in their mouth, they are allowed to. With all that, they will use their hands and feet, no brushes. They can even use cars to make tyre tracks. Their creativity flows on their own. In my group, in where, where I gather them all, they don't know each other, even their parents, don't, we don't know one another but we all gather together, we learn how to make paints. We 
actually did a painting where we gather together and try to get to know each other more. I would encourage my relatives and cousins to join because they get to know more about the Singkang area and they can also meet the new neighbors over here and try to be closer with them. Painting has no age limit. It goes for everyone, young and old. They are all most welcome. This is to get all the neighbors around Haokang to get together to know each other, one another better. And at the same time, to enjoy painting colors in the neighborhood. <laughs>、uh, for this event, we started off with a little picking, which means all our neighbors get together and we start to pick liquor all around the estate. So, in this way, they also know what's happening or the level of cleanliness within the estate. When we have the coloring contest and the drawing contest for the children, the parents will come. The grandparents will come, and there's one way also for them to mingle. I feel very happy to organize this event because at least now the neighbors can get together, and there's an opportunity for them to mingle with one another. Uh, well, well, healthy living with friends. Yeah. So basically, she does Tai Chi, and I wanted to get healthy, so we came together. Yeah, we got to know a lot more neighbors.、Uh, even those who did not participate actually, because they called to inquire and all, so they're keen only that they can't make it for the day and things like that. But through the process, we actually got to know a lot more people.、Lah. Yeah. Then I think、uh, the more we meet, the more we have a chance to interact. Of course, you know them better. The healthy living program was a very fun activity. Cause personally, I didn't really get many chance to know my neighbors, and I'm not sure whether people will actually attend such a thing. But I was surprised when I went for my first like Tai Chi session. I actually saw there are so many youths that that participated in this. I think this is a very wonderful opportunity for me to get to know more of my neighbors. Personally, I I think if I have the opportunity, I might also organize some, something that that、uh, amalgamates the exercise, healthy living, and also to socialize with all my neighbors. We actually、uh, are very grateful to having this event because here we can teach our son know a lot about the leaf, and actually we can he can touch the soil, and also he actually we're having very fun.、Uh, also, I can learn a lot of new friends around and neighborhood, and they help us to build our relationship together. What inspired us for this project was we want、um, a whole family bonding time with the young and the old grandparents and young kids to come and do meaningful outdoor activities. So that's why the gardening was actually for the residents of the neighborhood here. Myself and the kids love to plant the tree, so、uh, this, is, this is a very good opportunity for us to go out and then plant the tree, get talk to the people, the parents around here to know about their kids as well. We are indeed very excited to see the many faces,、uh, the children, the parents, and all. And the purpose behind this is really to collaborate with the community and、uh, to find out about you know the、uh, entire Bedok Reservoir area, especially within the vicinity of the school, as well as、um, to link it back to the history of Teluk Kurau, because we are part of the entire community. So we would like to see how、um, our neighbours can come together as a big happy family. Today activity is very interesting. We got to、uh, know new new neighbors, and、uh, I got to know new this Sally. Okay. Even though、uh, we know each other today, but we work as a team to solve the mystery. And it's fun. Yeah.